And he told that, oh, they, they, Kahar, Karyas, they saw, thought that in this ashram water is available, some shade is there, we should stop for a while and then we should go. So they kept the two palanquins there and they began to oh, take water. And Srinivasacha told, how a foolish person, a foolish person brings a snake, poison snake, black poison, and he is giving it in his snake. And that snake will bite, and he will die. He does not know. That was this police person he <laughs> Or say, saying, at once that bride, he came at once to him, what you are telling? I could not understand thoroughly. And then he told, oh, those who are going to marriage, they don't know that this is black serpent with very poisonous and that she will come back, fight here, and he will die. At once his eyes were opened, and he left and told the eloquent carrier, Oh, return back to her father. <laughs> and then she was weeping, and they took, took to his father's house. And this person, 
Oh, I want to serve you forever. I have given my life. Now, my life is in your hands. And then he became Ram Chandrakam Bhad, very high class of devotee. Hmm? Realized so like. And for him, he is praying to Shiva Sacharya that please give me the association of Ram Chandrakam. Please give him with me. And he gave. Once his brother, his brother named Durga Das or anything, he became very sick. Govinda Das for And then he tried to save his life by so many medicines and worshipping demigod Durga. But day by day he was decreasing and he was about to die. Then Ramchandra, as a brother, he came and told that, what are you doing? You are worshipping demigod Durga. Why not Krishna, Govinda? And and taking your responsibility, if you chant one pointed Govinda, huh, then you will be very cure and your life will be saved and you will be happy forever. Oh, hearing me this, he saw that Durga could not help me. So he at once he left and he took initiation from his elder brother Ramchandra and began to do hajar in the dying page and gradually in so um, two, three, four days he became cured. Then magical effect was done and he at once began to do bhajan. He was a good writer and poet. Oh, then he wrote this and sent to Jeev Goswami. Bhaja hure mana Sri Nanda Nanda Abhaya Charana Only Abhaya Charana are been there. And that is why Siddha Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati gave the name to Abhaya Charana What this name? Jai! Abhaya Charana are been there. Oh, hearing this and Jeev Goswami appreciated him so much. And he told that, I want that uh, you should make poems like the uh, Kirtan song. Kirtan. You are very much qualified and sent to me in Vrindavan. So he used to do. He had made so many songs of Mahaprabhu Radha Krishna. So this, is, this was very favorite in our Guru Parampara. And Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj he used to sing the song, weeping, heart melting. Bhajahurve mana shri nanda, abhayachan. Abhayachan also meeting with his name. <laughs> so all the songs of all the kavis or like have some, uh, some uh, life history behind them. And we should also have a strong faith in this. Today, very auspicious day. Oh. Krishna, all the pastimes, sweet pastimes especially, were done in Kartik Mantha. Oh. Ras was there, Sardar Ras Purnima. And also, Brajvasi all in the guidance of Nand, Nanda Baba, they observed oh, Govardhan Puja, giving up the Puja of Indra Dev. And Krishna took Govardhan Hill in this month, in that month. Also, Rash was done. Oh, Jasoda Devi binded Krishna in that very month. And that is why it is Dhamo Dharashtaka. Gopis binded with 
Krishna the bell and his pitamba very tightly. Oh, that he cannot deceive Radhika. So all these pastimes. So one of them is this today we did. Annakot Mahamas. Why we did? Oh, can you? In brief, how Krishna advised Nanda Baba and others to do puja of Govaraj Govardhan and what they can. Om Ajnanam Timirandasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chaksurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Guravainu Srila Gurudev has ordered me to briefly describe the history of how young Krishna, when he's about seven years old, enthused his father and other villagers to give up the worship of Indra and instead worship Govardhan. What was Krishna? Uh, what? Uh, his logic. Logic. How he stopped. Nanda Baba wanted to worship Indra so that the village of Vrindavan could be prosperous by the rain provided by Indra. So one of Krishna's logical arguments is that the rain is coming anyway even upon those who don't worship Indra. The rain comes even on the ocean, where there is no need of rain. So the rain comes on the rock, the rain comes everywhere. So there's no need to worship Indra. Krishna told Nanda Baba and the others that it's better to take all that paraphernalia and worship Govardhan, because it's Govardhan. Oh, Govardhan gives rain because he is so high clouds coming and dashing with them and then because in Govardhan so many forests so much forest of oh, forest attracts clouds and gives rain why we should not worship Govardhan why to Indra he is nothing <laughs> and why he told because Indra was thinking that I am the uh, I am the origin of these rains, and I am gods of gods. There is none superior than me. He has some false ego. To, to cut his false ego, who wanted Krishna to... Can you more? Krishna was telling them that our relationship is not with Indra but our relationship is with Govardhan because Govardhan supplies the grasses for our cows and the forests and the fruits and everything that our villagers require. So all the paraphernalia that was meant for Indra should be now used for worshipping Govardhan. So Nanda Baba, because his, he loved his child, he agreed to fulfill his wishes. And they took all the paraphernalia and all the villagers of Vrindavan circumambulated with their bullock carts and all the cows and all the residents circumambulated Govardhan Hill and offered all the paraphernalia, offered all the foodstuffs that all the villagers had prepared. And then Krishna himself assumed the gigantic form of Govardhan and in a moment began eating all the offerings that the villagers made. And then uh, he called out, Anayor, Anayor, that is, give more, give more. But Krishna asked, prayed to him to be satisfied with what the villagers had offered in love and affection. And he did so, and thus the villagers worshipped Govardhan Hill. Anyhow, we did here 
वेरी फर्स्ट क्लास गोवर्धन पूजा एंड अन्नकूट महोत्सव आफ्टर फिनिशिंग अन्नकूट व्हाट बिकेम वेन दे बिकन रिटर्न बैक टू देयर होम्स व्हाट बिकेम डोंट यू रिमेम्बर After Govardhan Puja, what became? Om Jnana Timiram Dasya Jnana Mujana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Vivin. So now, Indra Dev, he had become incensed. Who is this little cowherd boy? He thinks that he can stop my worship and he became very very much offended now indraji he began to think what are these these cowherd people this little govardhan uh, hill this tiny little hill and all of this cowherd village they are so impudent that they are not going to uh, perform my indra jagya and they are simply going to worship this govardhan hill and lifeless Huh? Lifeless Govardhan. Lifeless Govardhan and follow the instructions of this little uh, cowherd boy? What is this? He, and because Indra is the king of heaven, king of all the heavenly planets, powerful demigod, most powerful in the universe, huh? killer of so many great demons. And he's thinking, what is this little cowherd boy? He's going to uh, upset my yagya? <coughs> so now he made his plan. Okay. They are going to act like this. I will completely destroy them. So Indraji called his very powerful uh, cloud called Samvartaka. This cloud is used at the devastation of the universe. It can pour torrents of rain to completely devastate any part of the universe. But Indra just simply wanted to dev devastate only this one little tiny village. Huh? But he did not understand what is Braj Mandala, who is Krishna, who are the bridge bosses, and what is Giriraj, who is Giriraj Govardhan. So now he began to send this cloud. He gave the instruction, go and inundate, and don't return until everything, all the cows, all the people, everything in the village is completely destroyed. So now the, the clouds began to come, and they were approaching. The whole sky became black, just like night and lightning was flashing, and the rain started pouring, and the inundation started coming, and all the bridge bosses, all the cows, they were uh, feeling fear from all of this coming towards them. And now they understood that their only refuge is Krishna, because they have completely taken shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna. Huh? The bridge bosses love only Krishna, they know only Krishna. And it is for this reason that they also obeyed when Krishna told them that you should simply worship Giriraj Govardhan. So willingly and very happily they followed his instruction and did that uh, Govardhan Anakut like we did today. So now uh, they began to approach Krishna and their heads were bowed and they uh, prayed at Krishna's lotus feet, you are our only refuge, please give us shelter. And Krishna told them, he said, there is no need to fear at all, no problem at all, because Giriraj, he will protect us. Uh, we have taken full shelter of Giriraj, and he is all powerful, so he can very easily protect us. So, you know that actually Giriraj, he has willingly agreed that he will lift up onto my hand and I will be able to hold him up. Actually, it is his power and he has agreed to do this. So now I will come and lift up Giriraj and all of you should simply come underneath the shelter of Giriraj, just like uh, coming underneath an umbrella and all of you will be very nicely protected. Eh? And don't even worry that any of the rains or anything will come inside. So now Krishna went and he bent over and picked up Giriraj and it is described that so very easily just like a little child will reach down and he'll pick up a, a mushroom and hold it up 
So in the same way, effortlessly, Krishna picked up with his transcendental lotus hand, his left hand, he picked up the hill and held up the hill on the tip of his little finger of his left hand. And now, holding up the hill, all the bridge buses, they began to enter underneath the hill. All the hundreds and thousands and thousands of cows, all the bridge buses, they all came like streams flowing into the ocean. And underneath Giriraj Govardhan, what did they find? Oh, very beautiful arrangement. Giriraj had provided for them everything required to live very comfortably, very happily. There were huge, huge uh, uh, meadows full of fresh green grasses for all the cows to eat, fresh flowing streams for drinking very nice water, so many fruit trees, very beautiful sitting places everywhere. And Krishna was standing there holding up Giriraj Govardhan and all the bridge basis were very delighted because now Krishna was standing in front of them in his beautiful transcendental form uh, and they were relishing and drinking the nectar of his beauty through their eyes. Actually, uh, they did not even know how much time was passing. And meantime, outside, what is going on? Oh, thunder is roaring. Uh, explosions, greater than atomic explosions, unimaginable, uh, huge uh, uh, explosion sounds, and there's torrents and torrents of rain falling like pillars, like elephants, and inundating everywhere, and lightning bolts are striking. And Giriraj, uh, these lightning bolts were pounding and pounding and striking on the transcendental body of Giriraj. But how did Giriraj experience this? Oh, very pleasant. Just like if someone would scratch your back, you have some itch, someone will scratch. So for Giriraj, very, very pleasant. And in this way, Samvartaka is, is trying with all of his might to destroy everything. But no effect, nothing is getting destroyed. And underneath the hill, oh, the bridge bhasis are having a very wonderful time. And all of them are looking at Krishna and Mother Yashoda, Mother Yashoda is very worried for Krishna and she's thinking, oh, Krishna, his hand is becoming tired and now I see that he's becoming a little bit thin. I should give him so much food to eat and fatten him up, otherwise he will become too weak. And she's coming and massaging his lotus hand and feeding him and begging him, oh, Krishna, you know, actually, why don't you give the hill to Sridham? Sridham can hold it up for a while and then you can rest. And then Krishna tells to Mother Yashoda, no, no, Maya, Maya, this hill, it is not at all uncomfortable for me. It is very pleasant for me. I'm having so much fun. And in this way, Krishna is playing so many leelas and he's glancing at all the bridge basis lovingly and smiling. Even he's playing his flute huh? and all the gopis are standing nearby because at this time, it is like an emergency situation and normally they cannot come so close to Krishna in front of all of the uh, elderly Brijbasis. But now they're surrounding Krishna and gazing at him and Krishna is exchanging so many beautiful glances. So in this way, for seven days, seven nights, non-stop, Krishna is holding the hill like this and all the cowherd men, they have their cowherd sticks and they're also holding up, helping Krishna prop up the hill. So in this way, the time passes by uh, very uh, happily for all the bridge bhasis protected underneath the shelter of Giriraj. So at the end, finally, Indradev, who has come to examine what has occurred, and he sees nothing, no devastation, and now he realizes that it is a complete failure. His whole attempt has completely, utterly failed, and now he calls off some Vartaka, the clouds recede, and now all the storm has stopped. And noticing this, now Krishna informs, okay, now my dear Brijabhasis, you can very happily go back out, the storm is over, Giriraj has protected us, and all of them came out again, happily into the beautiful sunshine of Braj Mandala, and Krishna also uh, gradually, after everyone had left, Krishna placed the hill back where Giriraj was. Giriraj Bharani ki jai! You? 
Yo can mucho. Lo What became after that? Om Gyanati Mirandasya Gananjana Shalakaya Chakshu Unmilitam Jinam Tasmai Shri Guruve Namaha So, when, when um, Indra saw that I could not do anything, then he was repenting. So Indra, he saw that he could not do anything. And in a very repentant mood, actually, he went up to Lord Brahma. And there, when he went to Lord Brahma, Lord Brahma said, how could you do such a stupid thing? How could you go and try and attack Krishna and the residents of Vrindavan, the bridge passes? Don't you know who Krishna is? Very, very stupid. Then Lord Brahma said, but actually I have something to, to admit. I did something stupid like this myself. <laughs> Previously, I also seen Krishna with his cowherd boys, his calves. Then I went and I stole the calves and some cowherd boys. And then Krishna, he showed me that actually he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He said, you have done a very big blunder. So, um, Indra was wondering, what I'll do? Then he said, that your best bet is that you should go and try and appease Krishna by going with Surabhikau. That Krishna, he's very pleased but with Surabhikau. And if you go with Surabhi, and Surabhi petitions on your behalf, what? then you may have some chance. Radhika. Surabhikau. Surabhi. Yes, yes. <laughs> so then, <coughs> so then, Lord Indra, he went, he went to um, Golok, but this is not Golok in the transcendental world, but one heavenly planet, uh, Golok, land of cows, and there with Surabi, then he went down to Vrindavan, and there Krishna, he was there at um, Govinda Kund. And Indra, he came with his, um, he has so many eyes, and with tears flowing from his eyes, coming behind Surabi. And then Surabi petitioned um, Krishna, said that, oh, that there's somebody who wants to um, say something to you. And though he has hundreds of eyes, he's feeling so ashamed that he cannot even look at you with one eye, or any of his eyes. And then, at that point, um, Lord Indra, he went... Why Brahma sent him to Surabhi? Because Lord Brahma <coughs> had said that if Surabhi goes and petitions on your behalf, because Krishna is very much inclined towards Surabhi, then you will listen. Then you have a chance. What? what? You should pronounce it Surabhi. 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 Uh. Oh, he knew Brahma that Krishna will punish him, Indra, surely. Only way to save him that he should take shelter of Surabhi and Surabhi should go and praise Krishna and pray for Indra that please excuse me. Otherwise anyone can run. Myself or Shankar or Evening. Because Krishna thinks or oh, himself the servant of the cows, and all will support him. So very easily that can be done. And if Subhi is not going there, then what? Oh, Krishna cannot be satisfied, he must punish him. That is why he sent, and Subhi came and went to Krishna with, oh, but he was behind Subhi also. Oh, Krishna, please, very much. Oh, how, Mother, you have come. Then he told, she told, Oh, I have come, oh, for this is my son, please excuse him. Then Krishna, and then with the consent of Surabhi, Surabhi began to give so much milk, and from that, from that milk, oh, uh, Indra and all demigods and all were big giving Abhishek like we did here. Then Krishna became very happy. And then he told them, in future, 
I don't want to tolerate all these things nonsense. If you want your good, you should go to Navadvi. And there, with Survi, you should astore it. Astore it? Astore it. And then you can be excellent. Then in the kingdom. So thus, Indra also knew that, oh, his supreme personality of God is. And when he did Avsheth, he kept the name of Krishna. Up till he was Yasoda, Nandan, 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 Krishna. But now he kept the name of Govinda. Go, go, Gopi, go, go, hmm. go, Basa and all others. Oh, Bindate, Bindate means here. He gives pleasure to them and always makes them happy and also protects. So his name should be Go. Govinda and Govardhan in same line. Go, 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 Govardhan. And he is Govinda. Oh, he is same duty, same function. No? So we did here. But uh, can you tell that from where this Govardhan came to Braj? Before where and what he was doing? He was the... His, who was father? And how he came to Braja? You? You know something? Otherwise he should speak. Huh? Ah, So, we understand that Sri Govardhan is actually a manifestation of Srimati Radhika's heart for expanding the pleasure pastimes of the Lord, for creating a pleasant, wonderful abode for Krishna's pleasure and happiness. But in order for these pastimes to appear in the material world, there are some specialities. So there are different scriptures, two have given two different accounts of the appearance of Govardhan. And Srila Jiva Goswami has said, when we read these differing accounts in the Puranas or the epics, uh, we should not think, oh, there's some contradiction or, or they are confused. He is saying that these are happening in different kalpas because these pastimes are appearing fresh at each time so there are different ways in which these manifest. So in one uh, instance, at the time of Sri Ramachandra, the uh, monkey army and the, uh, all the animals that were helping Sri Ram to build the bridge to Sri Lanka, the monkeys were collecting uh, so many boulders and mountains and Hanuman of course being the strongest, he was bringing whole mountains. So at that time he was bringing Govardhan towards Sri Lanka. And when he arrived over the area of Braj, flying with this whole mountain, uh, he heard the conch blow from the construction site. You know, like work hour, time is over now. Bridge is built, cease construction. He heard the conch. And he immediately thought, oh, now it's time to march on Sri Lanka. No need to bring this mountain. And he put it down there in Braj. So at this time, Govardhan said, hey, what are you doing? I, I had a chance to go and serve the lotus feet of Ramachandra. He was going to now march across all this uh, uh, bridge built with mountains. And I could have had the soft lotus feet of the Lord touching on my head. Now you put me down. Now I'm going to miss this great opportunity to serve. So Hanuman said, oh, don't worry, I will arrange for a benediction for you that you will not miss this opportunity. So when Hanuman got to uh, the shore there where Sri, Lam Sri Ramachandra was waiting to cross with his army, he explained to Sri Ramachandra the situation of Govardhan, how he was missing the opportunity to serve. So at that time Ramachandra said that not only in the future would he feel the uh, beautiful touch of his soft lotus feet, 
But as a special benediction, he would also be able to feel the touch of his soft lotus hand. So in this way, Govardhan was blessed by the Lord. This is one of the uh, histories given in the, I believe this was the Garga, no, Adivaraha Purana. Oh, next. History. So, Srila Gurudev ordered me to speak the, uh, another history regarding the appearance of Giraj Govardhan. This can be found in Sri Garga Sanhita. There in Garga Sanhita, it's explained that Pulastu Rishi, he was doing his sadhan bhajan in Varanasi, in Kashi. But there, there are no mountains and forests. All and everything is flat and Ganga is flowing. So he wanted somehow or other to make his ashram very beautiful. So once, when he was visiting one of his disciples, that is Dronachal Parvat. Dronachal is one very great mountain. So he went there and his disciple wanted to give some Dakshina to his Gurudev. So Pulastya Rishi said, oh, please give me your son. The son of Dronachal was Govardhan Hill. So, Pulastya Rishi was thinking, if I'll take this mountain to uh, Baranasi, then there will be very nice mountains and scenery and forest. And I'll do my sadhan there. So, so then, but Govardhan, he did not want to go, so he put some conditions. Govardhan, young Govardhan, he did not want to go, so he gave some conditions. He said, I will go with you, but you should carry me, and any place you put me down, I'll not move from that place. And also, you should not touch me at that time when you are impure. So, Pulastya Rishi thought this is not a problem, because he has so many jokes in his, he can pick up a mountain and go very easily flying to his place and put Govardhan down there. But he was not counting on the influence of Jogamaya. <coughs> Jogamaya has more joke city than he has. <laughs> more than anyone. So when Pulastya Rishi was flying through the sky, going to his ashram, when he was passing uh, over Brajamandal, at that time, he felt some pressure in his bladder and he needed to answer the call of nature. So he put Govardhan down because he could not touch Govardhan while being impure and he went to answer the call of nature. Our son, our seed began to pass you here. <laughs> so, <laughs> by, really, by, the, by the influence of Jogmaya, like one river was flowing <laughs> for many, many hours. He never had this experience before. <laughs> Continuous. So then, after some time, he took bath so that he would be everything pure, and then he came to pick up Govardhan. But when he went to lift Govardhan, before he could lift, but now he could not do anything at all. So then Govardhan said, I made a condition, if you put me down, then I'll not move from that place. Then Pulastya Rishi, his uh, plan for making the, his decorations at his ashram was completely thwarted. So he became angry, and he said, I curse you that you will be reduced in size by the height of one mustard seed every day. And so we see now, Govardhan is going down. But really we cannot accept that this is the reason. Because Giraj Govardhan is so powerful that no curse of Palasirishi can have any effect on him. But we may think that Govardhan is becoming smaller and smaller. Why? Because he is feeling separation from Sri Radha and Krishna. So, Giraj is himself Krishna. And more than that, <coughs> he has come from the heart of Radhika. Any desire we have, at once he can fulfill. Even Krishna Prem, very rare, but he can be. So we have done Govardhan Puja here. Also, we can remember Next, 
uh, Annakut Mahasa was done by Madhvendra Puripat, to whom you saw uh, drama play. And how he went to Brajabhumi, Vrindavan, and on the bank of Radha Kund, um, Govinda Kund, and how <coughs> that Krishna met him in the form of a uh, covered boy. And he went, Oh, why you are stopping here? No one stops. My mother has sent some milk. You should take. And <coughs> he saw that in my whole life, I am not attracted by any human or lady. But I am attracted now. Who is he? And when he took the milk, oh, totally he became uh, hot, melting and weeping. Oh, he was really Krishna. And he left me. Then he began to weep. In the morning, in dream he saw that that very Gopal <laughs> came to him and told that I am wet. I was waiting for so many long time for you. Now you have come. I am very hungry. I am very hot. Feeling very hot. So, please give me a shake and so much Annakut that I can be satisfied. Hmm? Then Madhvandra Puri took some villagers and dig out very easily from a kunja. Hmm? Still that kunja is there nearby, Govardhan, Anno. And then he took it on the Govardhan hill and three side some piece of stones and upside also kept and began to worship there. Annakut was done for months and months. Very wealthy persons of Mathura. They heard and became very happy and began to take all Farsanelia from Mathura. And coping was there. Daily it was given to Thakur. And lakhs and lakh person used to take prasadam there for months and months. And then, when he was satisfied by food, then he told his brother, Oh, I am satisfied by taking, but my body is still hot. Can you bring Malayali Chandan from Puri Jagannath? Oh, why not? And then, when and after that you know all these things. So Madhvendra Puri also did. So <coughs> we are very lucky to, in his line, we every year in Govardhan, we do, oh so many devotees, thousands of devotees, we, especially in Govardhan, we go and worship there, oh, direct Govardhan, not a piece of Govardhan, though piece of Govardhan and whole mountain is one. But still, there is some glory oh, in Vrindavan to Govardhan. So, we do it, oh, months and months, not only little, oh, months and months, uh, milk, ghee, curd and so many things, paraphernalia. And so many par um, paraphernalia that we, uh, preparation you did, no <coughs> more than that. I think that m so many have joined our Kartik brother and they have seen. So we are fortunate to do. And each year we do, and we will do, until our life is in this world. Without Govardhan, mercy, we cannot have pure bhakti. No? So many good pastimes there. Once Srimati Radhika Lalita Vishakha, they are coming in the Jagya for sacrifice of the Bhaguru Rishi and the way of Krishna. What? Check them. 
and there was great discussion between gopis and krishna and gopis oh defeated krishna to apologize so there are many histories all coming in our mind and heard so anywhere you are by mind to you can worship and pray giraj krishna prasadena samasta shaiva samrajyam apno tich bhairi no sakrash ja prap balim sa saksha govardhano me ishata yatraiva krishna vishvan putra danam grihitam kalam vidin sutesh pihat jatra mahatta dasi govardhano me ishata or this prayer will do more than worshiping him because there are so many words in this so try to do this is bhajan now i want to take you in vrindavan in the council of roop goswami in our oh in our what <coughs> in our subject आदौ शब्द तत साधु संगत भजन क्रिया तथो अनर्थ निवृत्ति निष्ठा देन रुचि लेसनिस्ट आशक्ति वी हैव विगन भाव एंड वी हैव डिस्कशन सो मच अबाउट भाव स्टिल सो मच टू स्पीक एंड यू शुड ट्राई टू रियलाइज दिस मोर but how i told you that process first text center in the guru lotus feet totally without any doubt if doubt or oh, your all fruit will go maya devi will take no doubt at all in good if you are dipped in beginning you can and you can see that guru is bona fide dam bisambrain guru seva Shiksha, Diksha, and all these things. This is the root of oh, bhakti. And then, <coughs> in twenty sixty-four kinds of bhakti, they are divided into five sections. Sixty-four. What? Bhav mai, bhav sambandhi, bhavanukur, bhav virudha. भाव अविरुद्ध एंड अगेंस्ट भाव दिस फाइव वट आर दे यू विल हैव टू नो यू हैव टू नो इफ वॉन्ट टू डेवलप योर कृष्ण भक्ति वट इज भाव भावमयी कैन यू हो भावमयी वट इज भावमयी What? Bhavma is the uh, intrinsic mood of the soul in his particular relationship with Krishna. That is, everyone has a one of the five rasas or four rasas with Krishna. I am a servant. I am a palyadasi of Radharani. I am a uh, like a mother, like an associate of Yasoda Mai. so this mood of realization of what is my specific relationship with krishna which pervades all activities is called bhav mai and if one does not have this mood yet then the greed to attain this mood is also within the category of bhav mai sadhan hmm. what is bhav mai sadhan can you more <coughs> or from sitting so shilo gurudev he explains there are 64 angas of bhakti but and this is sadhan by which you can attend all these things especially for those on the path especially of... it is the sadhan of raga nuga bhav bhajan and what is sadhan this so very carefully you should hear 
otherwise in a moment you will forget and you cannot realize. At least you should hear and take it here, not by this. <laughs> so we have heard how there are 64 angas of bhajan. These 64 angas are included in Vaidhi Bhakti. Srila Rupa Goswami Pad explained that Raganuga Bhakti means Virajan Tim Abhivyaktam Prajabasi Janadishu Ragatmakama Nusritya Sa Ragan, Raganuga Uchate. Raganuga means when a person being in this world is he's following by moods the moods of the residents of Brindavan, then his bhakti is called Raganuga Bhakti. For those who are on this path, Srila Rupa Goswami Pad explained. Shravanot kirtana dini vaidi bhaktu ditani tu yanyangani chatanyatra vigyani manishi bihi that those who are thoughtful and intelligent have decided that it is appropriate for those in the path of Raganuga bhakti to observe the angas of vaidi bhakti but they will neglect some things which will not be favorable for their power for development of their mood Therefore, those who want to enter into Ragamark, they will observe angas of Vaidhi Bhakti, but especially they will give a very um, careful deliberation on five things. These five things, Srila Gurudev is explaining, that is called Bhav Mai, Bhav Sambandi, Bhav Pratikul, Bhav Viruddha, and Bhav Aviruddha. So of these five, the first one is called Bhav Mai Sadhan. These are five aspects of this Sadhan of Raganuga Bhakti. So Bhav Mai means, that that devotee, he is doing seva. But what kind of seva? Seva sadaka rupena siddha rupena chatrahi. Internally, he is rendering service by moods, according to his constitutional position, being situated either in Dasya, Sakya, Vatsalya, or especially in our line, Madhurya Rasa, he will render service in his heart by Antas Chintita Deha, the internally conceived Siddha Deha, to his Ishtadev, Shishi, Radha, and Krishna, and this is called Bhav Mai Sadhan. Bhav Mai Sadhan. But what is Bhav Mai? Relation with Krishna or relation with Srimati Radhika, which will help to come bring that Bhav of Shakha or Basal or Madhu. So they help, favorable, and they are transferred into bhav, the sadhana. So, <coughs> bhav may summon. Like, uh, Parikshit Maharaj heard from Sukhdev Goswami, 10th canto, especially Brahmar Gita, Venu Gita, oh, Gopi Gita, and others. These are bhav maya kirt shaman. And kirtan, like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard from Raya Ramananda. What he heard? What he questioned? And Raya Ramananda answered. What, what he told? Beginning from Varnashandhan to Radhika, highest mode, that was Mahabhav, uh, Rasara. Rasaraj Mahabhav up to that. So hearing all these things and then doing kirtan, anukirtanam, first saranam, then kirtan. Follow me. If you don't follow and you instruct any other, that is zero. Like karma. First you should follow, realize something and then preach. Other what will you pre Preach. You will preach that, oh, by bhakti easily we can make money. Position maker. Only this, karma. So first you should realize something. <laughs> Follow on these instructions. And then you should do. So this kirtan. Also, <coughs> Raghunath Das heard from Mahaprabhu heard from Siddharu. Shila, no, Shet, uh, Rupa Goswami heard from <coughs> Shri Chaitanya These are Shaman, Kirtan, Shmaran, Bhavamaya. And this 
or supports to Prem Taru, Prem Kalpa Taru. Prem Kalpa Taru what? The moods of Radhika. So thus, go bhav comes in the heart. That is why this is bhav mai sadhan. Manat among Raga Nuga or Rupa Nuga Bhaja. And then <coughs> bhav sambandhi can you? Bhav sambandhi. Mantra jab. Angap gyanu timidam dhasso gyananjana salakaya chakchurun nitam jina tasma isi gurabhi namaha. So, Shri Gurudev ordered me to discuss something about Bhav Sammandhi. So, Shri Lopisana Chakravarti Thakur has explained in his Raghavatma Chandrika. Raghavatma means Rag. In Sagatmika, John, what is the spontaneous affection for Krishna? That called Rag. In which heart it is situated? It is called Ragatmik Jan. If someone wants to attain their mood, they have to follow them. How come? Who is Ragatmik Jan? Have to understand clearly. So Rupa Sahipad has explained his Bhakti Rasamit Sindhu. Iste Sarasiki Raga Parama Vistata Bhavet. Tanmai ja bhaved bhakti satra ragatmi kaudita. We have spontaneous mood for Krishna. Iste sarasi ki bhava. Iste sarasi ki bhava. Paramavi stata bhaved. They always absorb in Krishna's service. How to make him happy? How to please Krishna? So for them there is the such kind of bhakti called ragatmi ka bhakti. It is eternal assets of Eternal associates of divine coupling brooch. Ragatmika Manusrita Ja Raganugachate. Whoever want to follow them and they are doing sadhan bhajan in this world as a sadhak form, they call Raganugajan. So Ragbartma to follow the path of Rag. And if you are walking in the dark night, you need some light. So if full moon day, the no need of light, by moonlight you can walk very easily. So Chandrika means moon rays. Sun rays will be hot, but moon rays is very cool and very smooth. So what is that moon rays? In good association. So Sila Chakravil Thakur Pad explained in his Raghupadma Chandrika to Paraganuva Sadhan, Bhavamai, now Bhav Sammandhi. Bhav Sammandhi is the Upakad, Upadan Kadan of Raghanuva Bhakti. Like we are taking initiation from Guru Pad Padma. Guru Pad Padma has given us mantra. This mantra we are chanting every day. We are doing japa. Japa means in mind we are chanting all mantras. Like Guru Brahma Gayatri, Guru Mantra Guru Gayatri. Gaur Mantra, Gaur Gayatri, Krishna Mantra, Kam Gayatri, Panchavata, Mahamantra, etc. This mantra, this, when it will be mature, then this Bhav Sammandhi will transfer into Bhav Moya Sadhan. Like we have seen in Vyad Bhagavata Amritam, Gop Kumar Alayas doing job of Gopal Mantra. Wherever he is going, he never been satisfied. And when he became and he came to Golok Vrindavan. At first he went to Sargalok, Mahalok, Sattalok. After that he came down in this world and he do bhajan. After that he went to Golok Vrindavan and became Priyanar Masakha of Krishna. As before he chanted Gopal Mantra, this Bhav Sammandhi. And later on when it matured, it became transferred into Bhav Moy Sadhana and he went to Golok Vrindavan. This is the Upadan Karan of Raganuga Sadhana. Hare Krishna. Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Oh, see, walk louder.